Hi everyone, welcome to Channel Code Board, in a brand new video. If you are a web developer, you must have set up Apache, or Nginx server. Those are HTTP servers, right? Web works on HTTP, so we need to set up HTTP servers for web development. But, if you want to send emails, you need SMTP server. Because mail communication, works on SMTP. SMTP stands for, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. If you have ever sent email programmatically, you must have set up the SMTP URL. Like, for Gmail, SMTP server is, smtp.gmail.com. But, what if we want to set up our own email server? Yes, that is always possible. And, today our topic is setting up SMTP server in our local system. We will send mails using our local server, with custom mail ID. So, without any more delay, let's begin. First, we have to download a SMTP server, for Windows. We will use HMail server, for this video. Setting up HMail server is pretty simple and straightforward. You can download, HMail server for free, from this URL. URL I will mention in the video description. Let's download, the latest version. Just open the downloaded executable. Install the application, like any other software. Now, in this screen, we have to select a database. I will select external database, so that I can show you the database tables. Click on next. Now, you need to set up a password. I am setting it as 123456. And, finally install it. This will ask, to provide the password, that we set just couple of steps earlier. Provide the password, and click on OK. This will open the database setup screen. Click on Next. I will select, Create New HMail Server Database. You can use any existing database also, if you already have any. HMail Server, supports few databases. I will select my SQL. Next, we have to provide, database URL, database name, and also, username and password. In the next screen, keep the service drop-down blank. If you go to next, you will get to see the finish message. But, if you click on next, you will get an error message, stating that libmysql.dll is missing from the bin folder. To fix this error, we have to download libmysql.dll file from internet. You can search in Google and download it easily. From, the downloaded zip, let's extract, the DLL file, to the bin folder of HMail server. And, then if I click on next, in the database setup wizard, database creation and setup will become completed. Just close the setup window. Just for your information, let me show you that, I have WAMP installed in my system, for the MySQL database server. We are all done, with SMTP server installation. Just click on Finish, in the HMail setup window, to finish the installation, and start the HMail SMTP server. It will ask to connect with a host. Which is localhost obviously for now. So, just click on Connect. Very first window, of HMail server, will show up. Click on, Add Domain. Just put a domain name, of your choice. Let me put, CodeBoardClub.com. Click on Save. You will get to see, that the domain will be added. Now, we have to add accounts, under this domain. So, click on accounts. Then, click on add. Now, we have to add an address. Let's just give it as user1. Also, provide any password for this account. And, then click on save. Similarly, we will add another account, with account name user2. So, are both email accounts, user1 at codeboardclub.com and user2 at codeboardclub.com are ready to use. Now, I'll download two email clients, Thunderbird and EM client. The email clients will act as two different users. These two can be downloaded from their official sites. I will mention the links in video description. Both the clients are downloaded already. So, let's first install Thunderbird. 
Installation is very simple, just like any other software installation. Once installation is completed, just click on account settings. Go to add account. Now provide the details. Let's put name as code board one. Email should be user one at codeboardclub.com. Keep the password blank for now. Click on configure manually. Change the server as localhost because our HMail SMTP server is running at localhost. Now click on retest. You should be able to see a success message. Click on done. Our Thunderbird setup is completed. Before proceeding to next step, let me request you please subscribe to Channel Code Board. Your subscription, likes, and comments motivate me to create many such interesting videos for all of you. Now, we will install EM Client. Again, installation is straightforward. After installation is completed, launch EM Client. Select any theme and proceed to set up account. I am skipping import option. In the next screen, select mail and then other. Provide email ID as user2 at codeboardclub.com. In incoming email settings, provide the server as localhost. Also provide the email account password that you put during account creation in HMail server. Settings will be same for outgoing messages. If everything is okay, you will be able to see success messages in test configuration window. Just click on next and go to encryption section. Here, you can select continue without encryption option for now. And finally click on finish. You will be able to see the email account is set up with the M client. Now, go to Thunderbird and write a mail to user2 at codeboardclub.com. And bingo! We are receiving mails. Let's reply now. And that is also working great. So, using our local SMTP server, we are being able to send and receive mails. Right? That's it for today. If you have enjoyed the video, and want me to create another video on, how to send mail, to a different computer user, or to a public domain email, like Gmail, Yahoo etc., please let me know in comment section. If you are interested, to know about database structure of HMail server, I can create a different video, on that topic also. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Channel Codeboard. Bye for now.